Right now, people are gathered out the outside the Utah State Capitol for a huge formula and diaper drive and bring awareness to families who are experiencing homelessness. The specialist Lauren Steinbrecher is there. Lauren, we've heard this problem before. It sounds like formula is once again really hard to come by. Yeah, and a hard time of year two being the holidays at this event that just started here. A lot of people you can see are gathering. They've brought teddy bears to symbolize uh, the number of children who will not have a home on Christmas. Also gathering diapers and formula. And as we found out today, there are a lot of families in Utah who are truly struggling to find formula right now. His family may not be home, but... Cameron Heyer is constantly checking with his wife. We talk about it probably two or three times a day. How much formula they have for eight-month-old Emery. Then when it is the last can, it's like, well, crap, you know, like we have to go search again. Often leading them on a wild goose chase to get more. So it was like a two-hour trip to go out there, talk to them, pay for it, bring it back. Because Emery can only have hypoallergenic baby formula right now in short supply. We had gone to the Smiths and Bountiful. There's a Smiths over by us. There's a Winco over in Harriman, and none of them had any of it left. Utah WIC says non-standard infant formulas haven't yet recovered from the huge shortage earlier this year, leaving parents with babies who have allergies or have digestive or metabolic challenges searching high and low for the specific formula they need and can't substitute for anything else. Cameron and his wife have had to ask around when the shelves are empty. We have family in Florida that's... Um, they've been able to find it a couple times and they'll send it all the way over here to us. In recent weeks, he's found people on Facebook selling extra cans in their cupboards. So I actually had to travel out to Eagle Mountain about 40 minutes away. And we tried to meet up with someone else in Bountiful that had some more. So, you know, we've had to kind of jump all across the valley. A stressful search he hopes will get better soon. Yeah, this event here is actually just getting started. It is benefiting the Crossroads Urban Center food pantries, all the stuff that they collect here. Now, if you are one of those families that cannot find formula right now, Utah WIC suggests you call your medical provider. You can also call and check with stores to see when they get new stock in. And there are groups on Facebook as well. That has been a huge help to the family I talked to in tracking down that formula.